Well, hi everyone, this is Coach Kevin bringing you another water safety story. And I wanna go back a lot of years when I was just a small child and wanted to tell you one of the stories, and there's several of them, but one of the stories that really made me into a water lover and someone who just loves to swim and loves all the different aspects of aquatic sports and activities. Well, like many of you, I started swimming first in the bathtub and then after kind of getting comfortable in the water, probably at the age of, you know, one and two, mom and dad have it, had a three ring inflatable pool, which was probably, oh, maybe about this deep. And I could um, push down like I'm doing a push up with my arms straight and get up above the water. But then if I let my arms down, I could actually swim slightly underwater. And I remember at the age of maybe even three or four having a, a, like a face mask that would seal good enough where I could see underwater and swim underwater. And my brothers and I, with my older sister and my mom as lifeguards, um, older two sisters, excuse me, um, we would swim just kind of circles around in this pool and it was just great fun. And then one summer as I got a little older, probably about the age of five or, or maybe six, uh, my grandfather worked for a company that made polycarbonate, which is a clear, strong plastic. It's what's called bulletproof plastic. That clear plastic that uh, can be in an armored car or the windshield of the president's limousine or, or, or in the cockpit of, an air, of, a, of some sort of aircraft, um, a jet fighter, so that those um, uh, very important domes would be uh, impact resistant and, and bulletproof. And so my dad had acquired from my grandfather several large sheets of this polycarbonate plastic that was super, super strong. In fact, we were the first ones in our neighborhood to make a plexiglass or a clear backboard, um, kind of probably within two or three years of clear backboards coming to the NBA. You know, they used to be in the NBA, they used to be actual glass, but they would shatter. But then they took them to um, polycarbonate, which is shatterproof. Anyway, um, so we have these big sheets of this clear plastic. If you've ever been to SeaWorld or seen pictures of SeaWorld, there's those big tanks that the killer whales, Shamu, swim inside of, those tanks with the clear sides so you can actually see the whales swimming underwater or the dolphins or the seals underwater. Kind of like that, that type of plastic, really strong, but clear, you can see through it. Anyway, my dad had a few sheets of this that were probably two feet high and about eight feet long. And he, made a, I think a wood framework to hold these um, uh, plastic sheets close together. Um, and then he sealed and caulked the corners and he filled it up. And we had an above ground pool that was about two feet deep and about eight feet by eight feet. And it was amazing because you could swim in there and from underwater, you could see through the glass outside and see the people outside and people could see you swimming in there. This was the coolest thing, um, at least for a week until it started to leak really bad until also I think my sister kind of cut her shin on the edge of the pool because it was very, very, very hard. But um, that just built a lot of fascination for the water with me. And, um, and I'm going to tell you a little bit more about a story as I got older when I was about nine or 10 years old. One of my first trips to the ocean, we went to an ocean that had these little lagoons and, and calm areas that I could swim in, kind of like this fish tank that my dad made for us. And, um, but when we went to the beach, I swam in water about three or four feet deep and I could see all these fish. Amazing. Anyway, really hooked me on the water and hooked me on swimming. I'll tell you more about some of the open ocean stories probably in the next time around. Thanks for watching. Have a great, uh, can you guess what day it is? I've got on my red, white, and blue. Anyway, um, have a great day in the water. Yeah. You like my t-shirt today. Yeah. It's pretty cool, huh? Have a great day and talk to you soon. Bye.